So guys, and I'll just get yeah. uh, this made. I mean, this video will be made by request from Sliman Yusuf. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. And uh, well, you asked me to make a video about it, and I'm not sure if you meant IC2 or LC2 since I couldn't find anything called LC2 planner or just LC2 anywhere. I think you meant the IC2, but it auto capitalized the I, making it look like well L. So this game is more like a companion app for a Minecraft mod called Industrial Craft 2. And it has a part that's also helping if you combine that mod with a mod called Gregtech. Now, I haven't checked those mods out on Minecraft yet since they're for PC. But if you want me to make a video on them, I will study them and find out how to use them. But let's just get into it. So the first thing you see here when it opens is, well, five optional tabs. The first one is just so you can check the forum and site from the Industrial Craft 2 and their privacy policy. This is where you can load your reactors once you build them, and this is where you can save them. Now here is where you build them, and well, this is an app which helps you, I'm guessing this is how it works, you make a uh, uh, reactor design here, so then you know exactly what you need and how to build it in Minecraft. And you have a bunch of different items and you can increase by pressing the GT, that's a crack tech. And also a C button which just removes all components on map. Now I'm gonna start with building the most basic so I can show some other stuff for it and then I'm gonna build some more complex ones. Now if you long hold it shows you what every item is and this is a heat vent. It removes heat from items so they don't overheat. And this is a uranium fuel cell which just basically gives energy for everything to work. If I do it like this and combine, combine two of them, their efficiency increases squared, I believe, since one of them gives about 20,000 joules or 20 million, and two of them give 80,000. Now, once you start the reactor, I mean, once you're on map, you can decide how much you want to have in, and it just depends how hot you want your reactor to be and I'm gonna set it to about 5% and start. Okay, so here you can see it looks like 20, 000, 20 million joules, but this could also be just 20,000 and three zeros. It also tells per T average, I believe this is Minecraft hour or day, and it shows me the start. I started. is working perfectly uh, and longer than my fuel cell. As you can see, my fuel cell has no health while my other two items have full health. And it shows me how much time would it actually work. And this is real lifetime, meaning real five hours and 33 minutes and 19 seconds. And not Minecraft time, Minecraft time moves much faster. So it also shows me that I achieve full cycle, meaning I achieve and make most energy. And it shows me that my heat effect is normal, which means you won't get burnt. I'm going to show this later on. Now, the next two tabs you can see here. First is the workbench. This shows you exactly how many resources you do need. And for this build, I would need 35 iron ingot, 16 copper ingot, 14 ingot, and a bunch of uranium. Now, I'm guessing the copper, tin, uranium, both uraniums, is a part of the mod. It would make sense and it also just shows me how many of which components would I need to build it and this is the last step where I can just save my scheme so I have it quickly loaded and I can just simply load it fast now what I can do is simply increase the heat to about 99% and well the heat is orange meaning it's too hot and the heat effect is nicely named lava Meaning you would just burn being nearby, I guess, or just lava would spawn. I don't really understand how that part works with the heat effect, but I'm guessing it damages the player if you use Minecraft. Otherwise here, you did achieve the successful work. It would work. 
I mean, the output would be the same, so I don't see the point in it. But actually, by this stats, it doesn't matter what hit you give. So, I mean, I can just put in... There, I can just put in hit value 1. The reactor will be at 0.01%, and yet all the outputs are the same, except that it will be normal heat from, the, from before. Now, what I can do, of course, is simply double my fill cells and just place two more of these, start it again. My output, as you can see, is 80,000 or 80 million instead of the previous 20. And it gives me the average minimum and maximum and everything else is pretty much the same. Now, what you see here, this is the coolant cell. This cools down items like this once if necessary. I also have these two. Uh, the condensators, they store energy. Yeah, this uh, this increases, this only increases the efficiency of them, meaning if I put this and then, I think I can just put it like this. And yeah, so my efficiency is much higher, as you can see, it's 2 point, actually it doesn't look higher, it looks lower. Hold on. I remove this two and I add another one of these no but yeah now it's higher again I don't know I'm not sure these should increase the this should simply increase the efficiency but I'm guessing I would just need a bigger one and better one first and this uh, this exchange heat with nearby objects so it takes from one side and then puts it to three other so you can put it on to coolers now I have fooled around with, a bit with this, and I've made a bunch, well, a couple only, but still, uh, working generators. But you can also here use the default scheme as the simplest ones, and then some more complex ones. Like, okay, so you see here, this is how I should do with the boosters. You can see there's a lot of overclocked heat vents, and a lot of these ones, which then circulate these around them, and the yeah, this is just a component between all of them. And this way, yeah, the reactor works normally and I get 400 million joules. This is how it's expected to be done, unlike my builds. This is professional and it's not really sleek, but that's just depending on the looks. You can also crank up the heat here, but since the efficiency of cooling is so high, the heat goes back to 0%. Now, actually in real life reactors that works not nothing like that but okay here i can show you the resources you can see here exactly how many of each you will need and it even shows you how many stacks 64 three times a full stack and 48 so it makes it easier now i mean most of this is stuff you can get in minecraft some of this are mods the number of components and you can do this basically with everything. I made this one just for fun and it works. It does absolutely not, nothing useful and most of this item are unnecessary, but you can do it, why not? I mean, it's expensive. It's overly expensive for what it does. So it takes, probably will take more just using it, the app to figure out how it works. This one was actually quite nice. This one worked nicely with Gregtech items. I mean, it gives me much more energy than a normal one. So I'm really happy how this one turned out, but I'm not actually supposed to. And I also have this one with two different fuel cells, which also work. Best energy, but it's still useful. So that's about it. You can save here and you can open their schemes. I'm actually going to open the last one. And see how much energy did they make with this one on like 50%. They make half a billion HU and for some reason I can't change it back to joules. So yeah, you can change the measurements in the top right corner of the black screen, but it, I can't for some reason right now. Again, this is the most expensive build so far. And that's basically it about this app. Um, I hope to clear up a few things. Um, if you want me to make a video on the Industrial Craft 2 mod, write it down in comments and I'll, I'll download it and find out how it works. And 
Well, if you have any other games you want me to make a YouTube video about, please write them down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun.